Hello Libra, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. I am broadcasting from Chicago. My name is Donna and I would love to know from which city around the world that you are watching this video. I traveled internationally for my profession for many years and I love hearing from everyone. All right, so the overall energy in the reading Libra is the Page of Pentacles. You know, that's like being asked out for a date. Let's go to coffee. Let's go have lunch. The Nine of Swords, Libra, what's going on here? You're all up in your head about this. It looks like you may not have heard from this person for a while. Um, but this is the overall energy. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on. In the recent past, the mutual energy was a stable foundation. It can be a committed relationship. It, it is a classic marriage indicator. Can be twin flame, 11-11, but it's all about the joy of being together, creating stability, buying homes, creating a foundation for the relationship. What's the current energy? We have the strength card, Leo energy. Infinity symbol, I always think of the street, the strength card with the infinity symbol as somebody you've known in multiple lives throughout time. That is, you have fire in your belly, your person has fire in their belly, the courage, uh, the desire to have this relationship and to make it work, but you have something on your mind that I don't think you've spoken about yet, uh, Libra. The energy, the way your person views you, Libra, is somebody who's very fiery, who's very passionate. That's the Aries Queen. They see you as a person who's very in command, control. You're successful, that you know exactly what you want. You know exactly how to get it. They find you sexy, baby. Sexy. <laughs> All right. So they view you as a person who has something to say. They want to come in and they want to talk to you, but they also view you as someone, you know, well, uh, the Aries Queen always has a lot to say. What can I say? I'm, I'm just the messenger. Oh, the death card. So in their heart space, there is a an ending and a new beginning. The Nine of Swords, remorse, regret. Your per person may have done something that they feel has brought an abrupt ending to the relationship. We're going to have to clarify this. These energies are very sort of, they're opposing energies. So it's going to be interesting to see what the, the deeper level meaning of it is. They view you as someone who's very feisty, someone who is uh, ego driven or that somebody who's causing trouble or that you really want to clear the air. Now, I want to say this about the Five of Wands. It is Leo energy. This is Leo energy. So they do feel as though they view the situation unfolding as being one of struggle. They don't necessarily see a future because we have the death card. I know that what I do see in front of me is that they do not want these sort of low-level sort of arguments going on. Libra, that's so unlike you. That is just so unlike you. You're just, you know, you're the opposite of, you know, by your sun sign anyway, you're the opposite of that energy. So sometimes people project it onto another person, but let's see what the mutual energy is. It's hidden in the relationship, a desire for a new beginning. So clearly that tells us that there is an ending. For some of you, there may be a situation in which one of you is married, or I wouldn't even say married. It looks like there could be an ongoing divorce. Your partner or your person of interest may have been married. They may have left the marriage. They may be you know, in this energy of thinking about going back to the marriage but what I'm seeing with the two of you as the Fool card is that you both want a new beginning. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Spirit says, go for it. Leo energy again. Leo energy is, we always call it sort of the egocentric energy because it's the, the, the child, the inner child. And the inner child knows what it wants. The inner child is the energy of ego-driven energy because... You don't know anything else when you're a kid. You know, when you're five years old, that's that energy. But it is happy. It's joyful. It speaks to the fact that you do see each other as well-intentioned. 
Nobody looks as though they think someone's trying to be sneaky or ugly here, but there is a big question about the relationship and um, and what you both want and how that what it looks going looks like going forward. Empress Energy, that's your outcome card. That is a card of manifestation. So let's take a look at these clarifiers. This is quite a love story, Libra. Even I am confused, and that does not happen very often when I read tarot. I can usually get an instant snapshot of the, the lay of the land, but this one's this one is a very tricky reading. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Why is a page of coins here? What is the offer that will be tendered? Oh, and I didn't mean tendered. Yes, tender is an app, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> let's see what's going to happen here. Movement of cups, okay. So your person is coming in, they're making a small offer, but it is the, it's the Knight of Cups energy. That's the overall energy in your relationship is both of you want romance, you both want that offer made and received. The Movement of Swords, here we have it twice now, okay. Very important, the Nine of Swords and the Movement of Swords or the Knight of Swords is Gemini energy. So it really is all about getting out the truth. Both of you must speak your truth, your stresses, the things that worry you, what you need to talk about. It may be as simple as actually admitting that you're in love. <laughs> so why is this Knight of Swords energy here twice? Four of Coins, you're holding on to each other. You are holding on. You're holding back, but you're holding on to each other. Both of you are in a state of fear. The Nine of Swords is a card of fear. Being, you know, feeling like, well, I don't know if we're doing the right thing. But the High Priestess is really having the wisdom to solve all these problems. And it is Cancerian energy. And it speaks to the fact also that this relationship might be a hidden relationship. Again, I do feel as though someone's going through a separate ending in another part of their life. So let's look and see what we have here. Why do we have the High Priestess card? Well, we have the Four of Cups. So there is some sort of boredom or lack of fulfillment here based on wanting a bigger offer, a more substantial offer. But there is a concern that the Cup of Love will not be accepted in this relationship or that there won't be a future. All right, so why do we have this marriage card in the past? Why is this marriage card in the past? Here we have the Fool card again. A new beginning and a long-term commitment. So for some of you, you could be married to a person and trying to work out the details. Instead of getting divorced, it looks like, it looks like one person may want the divorce, uh, but they want to give it another chance. Both of you want you're both in the fool energy so it does speak very strongly to the fact that you both want this new beginning a new foundation so it's always a different story for everybody it's a little different so take it as it resonates so strength card innocence of wands wanting to really trust again throw caution to the winds take a risk go out on a limb but you know with the infinity symbol here it really does speak to a relationship that is not brand new this is a relationship that's been around a while so it shows that you want to have fun again you want to enjoy each other again the judgment card there we go yep that's what i thought so the judgment card is usually the final dissolution of marriage the queen of uh, wands is typically quote unquote when we get empress energy when we get the queen of wands oftentimes there is a you know a lover and I don't see this as being a juggling situation I feel you may have met this person on a website a dating website and it's complicated because they're not finished with a divorce that's what I see a person wants you as soon as they finish with this uh, final dissolution of marriage Judgment card is Scorpio. Death card is Scorpio. So that explains that energy. And their heart space, they need for one thing to end before they can have this new beginning with you. Um, and we see the Wheel of Fortune. When the time is right, they're going to come in and reveal to you how they feel at a deeper level. Why is the Death card here? Justice card, there we go. When I get Justice, that's the paperwork. Now... 
the paperwork, Libra, that's your energy also. So when we look at the seventh house of astrology of the marriage wheel, it is Libra energy. So that you do represent literally marriage and commitment and legally binding documents. And so when we get when we get the justice card and the judgment card to me, that absolutely with the death card means that Libra, you are probably dating somebody that you have been waiting for, uh, that you have enjoyed a relationship with, but now it's going through the final phases. Your person feels pulled in many directions about this. The movement of wands, it looks like they're in this in and out energy with you. That's not satisfactory to you. That's not what you want. The Nine of Swords also says that your person recognizes that you are probably not going to, you're not going to stay in this energy. Your person knows that if they are not able to solve the issues of being able to be with you in a full-time relationship, that they're very much in their head. Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords. And that's the truth of the matter with the, the Knights of Swords swords energy they feel as though you've spoken the truth to them they know for a fact that you know you're not you want something stable they understand that they have to give you something stable with the eight of coins it's all about learning what they need to do working on the relationship dedicating themselves to making it better why is the fool card here the three of swords there we go so that makes total sense now it's always amazing how the clarifiers will usually spell out the details of the reading so much more than a basic spread so why is the three of swords here the star card your hope your person wants their hopes and dreams are with you libra you are this aquarius energy you are both one another's star rock star in love as i like to call it why is the sun oops why is the sun card here ah you may be dealing with a Leo, 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 Leo energy. <laughs> so there's a lot of passion in this relationship. There's a lot of, and you know, Leo energy is fixed energy. When Leo falls in love, they don't do it very quickly. They don't do it easily, but it is a very committed fixed sign. And so, you know, once that happens, once the Leo falls in love, they're in it to win it. All right, what else do we have here for this Empress card? So who is the Empress? This is manifesting the love that you want. Investment, nice energy, the Seven of Coins, Taurus energy. Taurus energy here with this beautiful Empress card all about wanting. And Venus, okay. So the co-ruler, the planetary ruler of Libra is Venus and Saturn. Saturn is commitment. The co and the ruler of um, Taurus is Venus and the moon. And so we have the moon here. So we see that the two of you feel very much a pleasurable, pleasurable in relationship in which you both want to invest. Give us more energy. Yep, the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a passionate new beginning for you. So Libra, it does look like your person is sorting through a complicated thing in their life. You did feel like you were competing for their attention as they were coming and going. Um, this person understands that you are where you are and you want what you want and that you're very much, uh, you know, in it to win it. They see you and respect you for that. They really respect you, Libra. So let's see what the advice is from the Sacred Forest Oracle in this relationship. Family, okay. So, you know, usually when there's a divorce, oftentimes there's children, and so family have been a consideration in the process. You may have even been dealing for some of you with somebody who had to go through some sort of custody issue, battle, a lot of tension though around your person sanctuary oh libra you are their sanctuary they just they see you as their happy place they see you as their fulfillment of love and everything beautiful and the star card they see you as having stood by them through a very difficult challenging time stability i love the card of stability there you go there's that's really powerful so let's look at the heart of the fairy oracle and uh, delineate just a couple of these cards. Tell us about the Queen of Wands. Tell us about the Queen of Wands and the Judgment card. To me, that's, you know, somebody who is leaving a relationship that was dead already to begin life anew with you. 
lady of unicorns so they see you as very special very unique someone that they can't live without libra that's how they see you this person at one time when they were younger looks as though they were a bit of a player and they have given up that energy that's peter pan you know i'm i won't grow up i don't want to go to school so they have given up that energy and i'm getting the rocks this is this is very powerful energy that says that there was a time in this person's life when they really didn't do what they needed to do it looks as though that player energy that we saw with this knight of wands in and out energy now they've that's like the king gone wrong and now it's reversed they are in a very powerful positive energy with you they have given up some old habits that you've been worried about that you were up in their head about the cards the oracle cards are saying that this will work out very beautiful beautifully it's a sanctuary with stability and uh, creating a new family. Libra, it's been a joy. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.